So you have a couple of different options in terms of how you're going to create your weekly agenda. If you decide you just want to do a very simple and easy way, in my opinion, you can edit right in this table here. So to edit and add items in that table for the week ahead, just hit the edit there. This will take you to the edit screen. And this, what you see right here is the rich content form, rich content editor. So what you can do is just delete these instructions here and put in the what month and what date we're looking at here. So whatever you're looking at for your week and date, put in your targets here for the week. And then again, change these dates for the whole week. The other thing you're going to do for each day is put together a list of tasks of what you're doing today. Now, if you've created these in Canvas as assignments, it's going to be really easy to add those in. So let's say Monday week one, we're doing an assignment called assignment one that you've made here. Instead of typing that in here, if you go off to the sidebar here under assignments and just click on the assignment that you're looking at. So say we're doing assignment one, click that. It'll add it right there and it's a link. So when students land on this page, they click on assignment one, it'll take them right there. So you can link stuff within Canvas. You can even do it with quizzes too. Let's say you're giving students a quiz to do. Now, I don't have any quizzes here, but it's the same idea. If you have a discussion that you're doing, having students participate in, you could do the same thing there. So let's say you have something outside of Canvas that you want students to access, whether it be a set of notes or maybe a reading that you want stu students to do online. Maybe it's the Voting Rights Act. So if you want students to do that, you can insert a link to an outside source. If you highlight it, you can hit link to an external URL. You can paste the link, or basically it could be a video link. It could be an outside web page. You can just link it right in there so students can access it. Now, you may have things that necessarily can't be linked, whether it be from a textbook. You don't have an online version, but just at least write that in there so students know what's going on. What you also might want to consider doing so students have an idea of the week ahead. When is this actually going to be due so students know that? And again, assessments are a good thing to put in there too. A couple of other features that we have, if you're looking at this table and want to change it up, there's a couple of different options. If you want to delete a table, you can click delete there. You can insert rows before, insert rows after, delete rows, insert a column before, insert a column after or delete the columns. If you want more table options, head up here to table. Table properties will let you work on alignment here, left, right, center within a cell. And there's some additional features here. But in terms of what we're looking at, that's kind of what we're doing. Now, So once you have your table for the week done, do not forget to hit save and that'll save it. The one big drawback to this uh, rich content editor is there's no undo button. So if you do make a big mistake, sadly, you're just going to have to hit cancel and it'll erase what you've done since you've entered editor mode. And that's one of kind of the little drawbacks of using these tables.